Recap City here, in today's video, I'm going to show you a 2010 action thriller, called Takers. Make sure to watch till the end. Sit back, relax and enjoy. The movie opens up with two police detectives, known as Jack Wells and Eddie Hatcher. The two went on to raid a group of criminals, as they got to the apartment, Jack chases after one of them, he caught the criminal and arrested him, Jack then goes over to meet his partner, Hatcher. Hatcher tells him that the other criminal had overpowered him and escaped. The movie then switches to a group of armed robbers who had come to rob a bank. As they got inside the bank, they jammed the bank's elevator, while they proceed to rob the bank. During the robbery, one of the workers alarmed the police. So a unit was sent to the bank to stop the criminals. One of the robbers disguised himself as a cop and stopped one of the city's news channel, who was coming with an helicopter to report the ongoing robbery. They fell for the trick, as they landed the helicopter, the robbers then hijacked the helicopter as they used it to get to their getaway location. When they arrived, they set the helicopter on fire as they all separated. Meanwhile, Ghost. A notorious criminal who was serving his time for a failed robbery, five years ago. Got released from prison. The detectives then arrived at the bank, where the robbery took place for investigation. Hatcher tells Jack that the robbers stole roughly $2 million, and some of the bills were marked, so if they are lucky they can catch them. In the next couple of days, the crew, led by Gordon Cozier, which consists of AJ, John, and brothers Jake and Jesse, celebrated their success and successful robbery, Jake proposes to his girlfriend, Lily, which she accepted as they concede. The crew then transferred the money to their accountant, Scott, which they gave 10% to charity. Later that day, as John got home, he sees Ghost in his apartment, he was surprised Ghost had been released early, Ghost then tells him that he knew about the last heist they just pulled. John then reminded him that they agreed to not see each other after the 04 job, Ghost tells him to relax, that he just wanted to check up on his homies. John tells him that his share from the robbery 5 years ago was still with them, and they would transfer it to him. He goes on to tell him that Ghost's girlfriend is now engaged to Jake and things had changed after he was sent to jail. Ghost then tells him that he has a job for the crew. John replies saying it wasn't going to be possible as they had just recently robbed a bank. Ghost then reminds him of how he saved their life during the 04 robbery. He tells John that it was a big score and they owed it to him. John then agrees to speak to the crew tomorrow, as Ghost left. In the next scene, Gordon the leader of the crew goes over to visit his sister, Naomi who was at a rehabilitation center, she promised him that once she got out, she would go clean and stop taking drugs, Gordon promised her that once she is clean, he would take her to the Caribbean. While the crew were having fun, John tells them about Ghost and him wanting them to do another job. Jake tells Gordon that they can't trust Ghost, and their plan was always to wait at least a year before doing another job. AJ tells them that the only reason Ghost hasn't ratted them out, was because of his money from the 04 job. As they were discussing, Ghost walks in, he greets his old friend, as he talks to them about the job, he tells them the pay is $25 million, and they have to move fast, because the armored truck will be on route next Tuesday. He tells them that he had made a deal with the Russians to get the armored truck route. He tells them not to worry about the Russian, he would settle them from his cut. Ghost then concludes by saying he needed an answer this night. As he left, Jake tells Gordon that the mission was too fast, and that's not how they operate. Gordon then tells Jake that if it the setup turns out to be good, then there wasn't going to be any problems. In the next scene, AJ briefs the crew on his plan. He tells them that the setup was going to be in an old subway, he then continues by saying they needed to check the place out, the traffic density, street patterns and exits. The next day the crew went over to survey the area, Ghost tells them that all the cash is in the first truck, while the second truck is just an escort. Later on, the crew began working on the site to execute their setup. Meanwhile, Detective Jack and Hatcher, meets up with a man who they suspect deals with C4 explosives, they questioned him in relation to the explosives but he refused to give answers, they then threatened to tow his car, where they would find incriminating evidence against him. He then confessed that some group of people came for C4 explosives and they were definitely planning something big. AJ then goes over to the C4 supplier, Polly. He asked for the C4, but Polly refused to give him. This then resulted to a bloody fight between AJ and Polly's men. The crew came over to help AJ, Polly then revealed where the C4 explosives were kept. As the crew left. In the next scene, Lieutenant Carver tells Detective Jack that he needed to speak to him, but Jack waved him off saying they were executing a search warrant, and he needed to be there. The cops then raid a Russian apartment, 
They found a Russian there all alone, Jack then chases after the suspect as they exchanged heavy gun fire. As the Russian tried to sneak up on Jack, Hatcher sees him and then kills the Russian guy, they gathered up some little information from him, but it wasn't still enough to give answers. Gordon then goes over to check if the traffic system they had programmed was working. Everything was going according to plan. Later that night, Naomi. Gordon's sister arrived at his apartment, she tells him that they had let her out after they found out that she had become clean, although Gordon wasn't happy she left rehabilitation center, he puts her in a hotel, saying he was very busy at the moment. Meanwhile, Detective Jack finds Ghost Prison's tag, with the Russians, he then goes over to his partner's house, he tells him about Ghost, saying Ghost might be involved in the robbery. But Hatcher wasn't so sure about it because Ghost had just returned from prison. Jack then takes his daughter to go buy a pizza, but soon he received an intel concerning Ghost. So he began tailing Ghost, as Ghost arrived at where the crew was. He talks to Gordon and the rest of the crew, Jack then suspects that Gordon and the rest of the crew, had something to do with the robbery, so he followed Gordon's car, but as soon they noticed he was tailing them, they stopped their vehicle to affirm if he was actually stalking them. But Jack zoomed past them. In the next scene, Detective Jack tells his partner that he is very sure, Gordon was among the armed robbers that attacked Fedkel Bank. Saying Gordon has the same stature and posture as the ones on the tape. Hatcher then tells him to give it a rest and try to catch a break. Gordon was told that his sister, Naomi, had stolen some money from the apartment and then she ran off, Gordon went on searching for her that night, but he couldn't find her. Later he got a call from Naomi, telling him to come pick her up at the police station, so he went over to the station. Meanwhile, Detective Jack was told that a man had used one of the marked dollar bill, so he goes over to the station to investigate on the issue, he meets up with the man, after threatening him. He tells Jack that Naomi gave him the dollars. As Gordon picked up Naomi from the police station, he yells at her saying she was always getting into trouble and she shouldn't have left the rehab center. Naomi became angry, as she opens his car door and runs away. While Jack and Hatcher were investigating on Naomi, the chief of police tells Jack to come see him immediately, he then shows Jack a footage of their earlier operation. In the video, Hatcher had taken some money from a criminal and even let him escape. After watching the tape, Jack became devastated, the crew then proceed to the mission, Ghost acted as a traffic warden, so he can keep an eye on the truck, Gordon tells John to take out Ghost, with a sniper rifle in case he tried to play them or things went wrong. On the other hand, Jack tells Hatcher, that the chief of police had shown him what he did, and how he took money from the criminals they were supposed to arrest. Hatcher then became sad, he tells Jack that he was facing financial difficulties and they needed the money a lot. Jack then sympathized with him saying, he was going to be there for him always, the armored trucks then arrived, after a little delay from Ghost, he directs the traffic towards his crew members. The initial plan was to detonate the C4s, when the truck was at position, so it would fall underground, but a cyclist causes the first driver to stop his truck, making the crew detonate the bomb too early. The armed guards then stepped out of the vehicle, to defend the armored truck as they radio for help. John seeing that the mission could go wrong at any time, then takes one of the armored truck, he uses it to ram the first truck filled with money till it fell inside the hole. After the gunfire became heavy, John drives the truck inside the hole. As the crew packed up their cash, they then separated using different tunnels. Jack and Hatcher then decides to go after the crew in the nearest subway station. As they got there, they saw Jesse one of the robbers. They got themselves involved in a hot chase. Jesse stashed his money under a plant, so it would be able to run well. The police then cornered him. He shoots at the police, as he killed Hatcher to escape. Jack had no other choice to stop the chase, as he attended to his dying partner. Jesse meets up with the rest of the gang, after he narrated what happened. They yelled at him for killing a cop and losing his money. Meanwhile Ghost had already cut a deal with the Russians to help kill the crew members, and he would pay them half of the heist money. Ghost then took off using the hotel's bathroom. The Russians arrived at the scene with heavy gun power. In a fierce gun battle, AJ was killed as he sacrificed his life for the crew, the crew then managed to escape from the hotel, Jesse and Jake goes over to their apartment, Jake meets a dead Lily, while Jesse's safe was cleared out. The two devastated brothers then promise to always be there for each other. Soon the police arrived, Jake and Jesse then went out straight at the police, as they met their own death. As Gordon got home, he noticed that there was someone in his apartment, afraid that it was a cop, Gordon takes Naomi as he escaped the cop, Jack noticing this, goes after him, later on it was revealed that, Ghost actually wanted all the money to himself, when Gordon found out that Ghost might go after their accountant, Scott. 
He goes over to the hangar but it was too late as, Ghost had already sneaked inside Scott's plane, he kills them as he proceeded with all the money. He was stopped by Gordon, after the two had a brief argument about betrayal. Ghost shoots him, Jack tried to intervene but he was shot too. As Ghost was about to finish off Gordon, John appears and then kills Ghost. An injured Jack, then calls 911 for help, while John and Gordon manage to escape with all the money. The end. If you like this video, please subscribe for more. Goodbye till we meet again.